Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimatter Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 47. And this run is not going to be a speed run. You can already see I've wasted like three hours just doing nothing. But you can just see the the quantum speed runs over here. Start with all eternity challenges. That, that's the big one. And then also some dilation unlocks and like a bunch of other cool stuff. So, yeah, I, I, I just. I think after this first infinity, it's just gonna get OP. Like it's already OP. I, I wonder how many time themes I have. I it's already in the hundreds. I'm gonna go for my um, pre study two hundred one build for now, but it's gonna actually I have so many. Um, I don't really even really need this build anymore because I I can get all the study paths from first split because of the way. Um, the um it works and look at this i already have 181 on my first eternity i have study 181 which is crazy if you go to challenges it's all 14 eternity challenges that, that that's crazy so now you're just gonna see it's pretty insane progress coming out i do not even need this this study anymore and I haven't even gotten the gluon upgrades yet, so I'm gonna do that right now. So galaxies are more effective based on your free galaxies. Well, this is not gonna until dilation. I'm, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna hold off on these. These are I think are only gonna affect have an effect once once I get to dilation, and I should probably be clicking R, and that will really speed up things. And look at this, I. This is before I even unlock dilation. This is this is crazy. I already, I mean, I can know what I, what I mean. Dilation. Crazy. I, I can probably already dilate for some tachyon particles. There we go. Instantly dilating for some tachyon particles. And you can just see how insane the progression has become. The only thing that is still going to be slow is the meta um, dimensions to E446 meta antimatter. So I think by now what I'm going to do is I'm, I mean, you can see just how overpowered this is. I can get this and I think um, speed run, um, the speed run, the two hour one gives me Basically, the dilation studies that is time dimensions five to eight. So you can you can see how overpowered everything has became in, in this game. And I haven't even gotten the gluon upgrade. So that that's what that's what I'm gonna do. So look at this. I'm just getting all these upgrades everywhere. Here we go. So here are the gluon upgrades. Sacrifice affects dilated time production. So this is gonna give me. It starts at about like, it starts pretty insignificant, but it gets up to like 70 to 80 times when you hit like mastery studies, like later mastery studies. And this is, galaxies are more effective as in your free galaxies. This should give a, okay, that wasn't very noticeable, but I think that should give a good boost to my eternity points. And you can see I, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining dilated time so fast now that it, it, it's just unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. You can see how many tachyon particles I'm getting with each each sort of dilated run. I'm getting like two and a half orders of magnitude. Uh, that was only one order of magnitude, but it's still pretty good. And I'm not sure if you instantly unlock meta dimensions. Actually, you do. Maybe, maybe you unlock meta dimensions before you even have that many before we even have that many time theorems. You can just see how, how fast everything's going. I'm not sure why I'm taking so much time on this tab, but I can just go to dilation and and see even faster dilation. Like if episode 41 had fast dilation, I, I'd, it's probably not, it's nothing compared to this. So I, I just need to get this. And all of a sudden I'm in the E50s, which, which is crazy. It's not going to be long until I get all the way to E100, and I'm not sure how 
how long it's going to take for me to get, um, or how many eternity points I'm going to get. And I, I think I will be getting a lot of eternity points. Like 1.3 million, possibly. But there's, there's also some other stuff. I'm not going to go over this now, but eventually, in the not too distant future, I'm going to be going for two E82 time theorems to unlock the next big thing, which is called electrons. So that, that's going to be very exciting. That, I, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it here. That's going to be episode 50 on a live stream. So hope you're excited for episode 50 because that's going to be, that's going to be pretty exciting. You can now see the glue on upgrade is now doing, okay, this is only in dilation. I, I probably should go out of dilation. But you can see now it's doing t over 10 times. So you can see how how it sort of just builds up over time. You, you get more more of it as, as it goes on. So, so that that's pretty crazy. And I'm also getting close to E100. You can see I'm already at E81. And with the boost in the in the dilated time production based on the sacrifice it's now going to be a little bit more um eternity points will be a little bit better for um for trying to get dilated time because it's going to be i'm not i'm not i don't think i'm even going to get there like i'm going to try to get all the way to um to get e2 e2 e82 time theorems i think that's going to be it's going to take a very long time to get to two E82 time theorems. Um, because I, the most I've seen it at was um, at like one E76. And that was um, the one E76. That was at like, um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what, what I'm saying. The one E76, that was at like, 4.5 E80 tachyon particles, which is quite a lot of tachyon particles. So you can see now, I'm already getting into E107, E108 dilated time production. I haven't even gotten a single mastery study yet. And I think now I'm just going to go meta dimensions and just boost as much as I can. I think the next speed run starts automating meta dimensions. So that, that's going to be really nice when I when I can do that. So it's just, it's just, I think it's gonna again just get a little bit slower after 14 meta boosts. You, you can you can notice the speed change. So here is a triple tack and I can just get some stuff here. And E74 tachyon particles, that, that, that is a lot. That's enough to get tachyon particle formula is better. Along with some of the first, Along with the first mastery study, you can just see how insane everything is. Because of that upgrade, which is now providing 40, no, 50 times dilated time production, you can just see how overpowered that has became. Here's the next tachyon particle upgrade, and you, you can just see how much dilated, it's, it's, it's more powerful than, than study 263. So you can just see how insane everything's become. And now I can get, not only this, I can get this and that. So that, that's going to allow me to dilate for E77 tachyon particles, which means I... Means I can get the next triple the amount of tachyon particles gained. And I'm not going for a speed run, so I'm not going to be... As, as I said, I'm getting 262. But I think what will be a little bit better now because the glue on upgrade is, is getting some eternity points. So, I, so my sacrifices will be better. So I'll go here, the daily to time production. I should probably get some more meta boosts so I can, I can help that even more. Since I have enough daily to time, I can get all the way up to 16 meta boosts boost with not out much trouble. I can get this and this for some better eternity points and better sacrifices. And now I should be getting, look at this, look at this. Now it's nearly 80 times. I, I told you how overpowered that upgrade is. And it, 
only took about 10 minutes to get here. It's crazy. I, I'm already up to E1 million infinity points. Really, now what it is is just getting the meta antimatter up. And since I don't have 262 yet, it will take a while from about from here on out. So I'm just going to cut it here. Okay, I'm back at the very end of the quantum, and I'm just waiting for the meta antimatter to get to about 5e463, where it's going to go from one quark to two quarks, and what I'm going to, I'm not sure if I, I do have an unassigned quark, so I think, I'm trying to think what my strategy is. My strategy was to, yeah, I needed this, one more of this, so I, I think I put one into green, and then I start putting it into blue. So, I'm going to put one quark into green and I think I will get a red green glue on out of that but it's the next quantum I'm gonna put a bunch into blue um so I can get this upgrade and then I'm eventually gonna be going for this upgrade which is gonna be it, it I think it's it should be really good for grinding 2e82 time theorem so yeah I'm just gonna assign it to green now I should um get yeah I should get this um another glue on and just go quantum again.